being greedy today. So today I'm making my first go at flatbread. Um, I don't know if it's going to be more like tortillas or naan. We'll see how it comes out. Similar ingredients, but this one I found on YouTube only has three ingredients. So it's two cups of flour, sieved by the way, I've sieved the two cups. And then um, I added um, like half a teaspoon of salt and then um, three three tablespoons of olive oil and then and then three quarters of a cup of water and then stirred it all up in the bowl just stir that all up and I'm going to um, cut uh, roll it into a ball so that I can get like a precise rough measurement so this needs to be go gone into um into eight pieces so i've got um the first half is about that size and then that's the one half into another half and that just goes in half again until i've got eight pieces and i'll just pause the video Okay, so, so I've got my eight pieces cut into, I've got um, my flatbread cut into eight pieces. I'm just about to roll that out. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna do my first roll. I have this, because I, I don't have a roller, so I'm gonna try this. What I could do, though, is like, what I've seen done before, which is just like stretching the flatbread out and kind of doesn't have to be a perfect roll, so yeah. Just kind of like stretching it out, like don't be shy making flatbread you can't really go wrong how haven't i discovered this before i like literally don't know because i've never made it before but it is super easy it'd be interesting to see how it fries up as well because it'll just show like what needs improving Anyway, it's a little bit smaller than like I'd imagined, but like here's a flatbread. It's like pretty, you know, get the point. Right, so it's good. So I'm gonna finish those. I'm just gonna fry this one now so I can film it. Okay, get the pan going really, really hot. Make sure the oil is um, heated so it's really hot so that when you stick the flatbread in you're just getting like a really quick nice crispy um, bread so we'll see I'm quite excited because I've never made this before so it's quite fun oh yeah if you don't like want to completely roll it and you want to try what I was doing to stretch the bread out. It's called leavening, I believe. Where you're just like prying it and flattening it with your hands. But um, like rolling it's really helpful. So it's a combined. It's just do whatever you like because it's fun. But watch a video or something or something first because yeah, it helps. That's the first one that I'm going in with. looks pretty good I reckon I could stretch that out even more 
So it's like the same size as the pan and that way it's like you're getting more, ow, more out of it. But don't burn yourself because it's not fun. Um, what would I use to flip the bread? Probably this because you're not going to rip the... You're not going to rip the... Um, the bread. So... Turn it over, see if it works. It kind of looks more like naan bread. This would be good with a curry. Yeah, be good with rice. Rice and, I don't know, veggies, beans, curry paste, um, milk or coconut milk. And yeah, it'd be perfect. But I'm just gonna use these just to eat them like they are because I just like, I just really love flatbread. So, look at that. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. That is a piece of art. Now, that's fucking beautiful. I mean, sorry, excuse my, my language, but that is um, delicious. And then, yeah, there's seven more to go. So I'll probably just try and eat these like they are. And I'll see what would be the best to add with these. Normally, I just like fry up some garlic, put it on top. I might even crush some garlic, put it in there or something. Or find whatever's around and just like eat it like that. Or... But you get the gist, that is my flatbread. So easy, three ingredients. Takes like less than five minutes to mix up. Takes like two minutes to cook in the pan. Takes like two minutes to eat it or less. So all in all, that's like 10 minutes of your time. Peace.